Hey everybody, I'm Steven21967 and we are in Valheim. Today I want to work on the marina and my plan for the marina is I want to prevent uh, mobs or monsters from the game from getting to my boat and attacking it. I think we had uh, maybe the last video I think on building, finishing up building uh, my base here, the plane space, called Demon's Doom. Uh, we had a, a raid, an event involving trolls who came um, very close to attacking my, uh, my ship. So what I think I'm going to do is just going to work on building a very simple wall around uh, the water here. And hopefully this will prevent the demons or monsters from being able to get to the boat. So this is like the first part of the marina. I think we also need to extend some of the wall that I have around my base. You can see where those marching lines are, the marching ants. Well, those are from the workbenches that I have on the outside of my base, in case you haven't seen it. I got the wall that I have around my base. I have a bunch of workbenches all the way around. Around the different corners. So around the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, I have a bench right up against the wall. And then kind of between those. So there's a total of, there should be a total of eight workbenches that I have around uh, the wall going around my base. And again, the whole function of that is to just make sure that um, that I can build outside and away from my base like I am right now. It looks like the sun's going down a little bit. So I'm going to get some sleep in my new dragon bed that we have at our base. You know, we could do something very simple like this. We just put a wall around this so nothing's going to come and bother me. Nothing's going to walk up through here. Uh, if we want to do that, we're going to have to, this has to be, this really does need to be more of a, this needs to be more of a straight line. You know, this needs to be like a sheer, like that. That's kind of a sheer cliff. That'll make it so that they can't get up uh, on top of my, uh, they can't get over this wall. So we want to try to make that as sheer uh, a level here as possible so yeah just knock down those sides make it really hard for them to get up there oh we just kind of knocked that out anyway it's it's a constant battle for how do i how do i get this all to work so i don't have the issue because last night when I, right before i went to bed i hold up i had a bunch of foldings come to my base and they were right over by where my bed is and I couldn't sleep until I went out and uh, dealt with them. So, yeah, we'll we'll get this all taken care of. If I can get something built, what I could probably do is put down um, some of the wall. Let's see. We can... Yeah, give me a sec. So maybe we can get this to a certain size and then we can go with this stone wall around it. Uh, my question is, though, when it comes to that... When I set up this wall, is this wall damageable when I'm raising the ground like this? Because I believe that this, this, this stone wall I'm holding in my hand, that that can be damaged, even though I think it has a lot of hit points, nonetheless. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm going to get to sleep because there are going to be foldings coming out. What I think I'll do to extend this so we can go a little further is put a workbench out here somewhere where this will help us extend. I might be able to go over here. Let me see real quick. This might work. Let's see where those lines end up. Yeah, it's a little bit short of where that is. So let's just put something right here. Ah, just put it right here and we'll be happy with it. There we go. That should give us somewhere to at least extend how high that we can uh, we can build? I think I'll raise some of the water, some of the the ground in in the water up a little bit, so that I can hopefully get a better angle for 
lifting for uh, building up this uh, this wall around um, around where our alcove is will be for our boat. Hey everybody, I'm Stephen21967 and we're in Valheim. And right now, I'm working on creating, I guess, what I would call a marina. I don't know if that's the proper term, but I'm flattening out some ground over here. Make, leveling some of it and raising some of it so that I can uh, put a wall down here. And hopefully that will help us to keep, uh, you know, trolls during, you know, the... the the, the troll events that can spawn in our area I've kind of I've tried to build a wall over here around it but I don't think that it's just I just don't think it's gonna work I think the best thing is going to be for me to just place down uh, a regular stone wall for my build menu and hopefully this will keep uh, full lanes and everything else from being able to get access to my boat we need to have a, a stone cutter nearby in order to build the wall so I'm going to tear that down and bring that out with me put it out here somewhere nearby to where I'm going to put up my wall Let's see stone cutter you see where the the white is that's where the stone cutter is going to work it's a pretty decent size actually so let's just put it right there and there we go. Now we can kind of start building this wall and see if this works out. So if I put right there, kind of start right there and just keep going. Oh, is that, there's not enough support there? Is that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's not enough support underneath it. So we got to not let it snap. All right, so do something like that. Is that good? Okay, that does look good. Probably gonna have to lift the ground a little bit there, and then we're just gonna keep going. Oops, I'm in the way. Just gonna keep going out here and right there. So that hopefully gives us enough to block the way. We'll get this up. And we can put this up a little bit more so we can support, fully support the stone on top of this raised area. There. This was a little bit tight here. There was a little opening I wanted to make sure nothing could get through there. I don't know how many hit points there are in the stone, but hopefully this will help us enough so when foldings or anything else come in, they can't get access to any of this stuff. It's starting to get a little bit late, but I think we can do some of this. Let me check this. Is that, that's, well, that is a little bit off the ground. It might fall. Uh, let's get over here. And then this is probably, yeah, that'll probably fall right there. So I need to raise the ground over here a little bit. Get that up. Oh, thank you for saving the game. Yeah, at first I thought I was just going to make, um, I was just going to use the ground for, for doing this, but I decided I wasn't crazy about the whole idea of using the raising the earth as a way to create the um, the wall to prevent anything from getting near to our uh, getting near to the uh, the boat and everything let's see uh, yep that's not high enough that's not good enough where do we want to go over here? This will this level everything a little bit more? No, that's still not level enough.
There, that looks a little that looks a little bit better. It's getting late, so I'll probably head to sleep. And then we'll pick this up in the morning. Just straightening out the boat. Getting close to the point where we're gonna be able to start actually building the dock. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not no, that's not working. Alright, let's try this again. It's not quite straight. I want it I want it to go to the door. That's what I want. I want it to go straight into the door. <laughs> okay, I think I got that pretty straight. We'll probably build left and right of this. I want to finish what I was doing here, so let me let me um, see how much more that we can get done to completely finish this out. I'm, I'm kind of tempted with building a lot of other buildings here over in, in the surrounding areas because my understanding is that wherever the um, wherever you put your 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 workbench is an area where mobs can't spawn in and if we can keep mobs from spawning in an area then you know why the heck in the world oops no that that didn't work we we're supposed to yeah that okay now I gotta I gotta raise that a little bit I raise a little bit here 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 and how is that doing oh it's it's a little bit there too that needs a little bit something something underneath it i think all the way across needs a little extra a little extra underneath and then we can uh see if we can flatten this out a little bit better All right, can't see underneath that so much anymore. That looks okay. And then let's go over here. So if you did that, then this hopefully will all be okay also. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna go a little we'll go a little bit further and then that'll be enough for this part. All right, let's see. Let's get, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I should go over to the other side and count the number of uh, stone walls that I built to make sure, you know, try to keep things even, cause why the heck not. Okay, let me go over there and check that out. I think I'm gonna cut away a lot of this area that I raised because they're still gonna come over here and if we can cut this low enough, make it shallow enough it'll be hard for anything to go out there and try to attack our boat I just need to get a little bit of this cut back as much as I can cut it to the point where stuff is floating you know what even when I have cut back um, the walls surrounding my base where I have a base in the water even when I do that I swear the um, I still find mobs swimming through the water to my boat and attacking my boat. I mean, it's just, I don't know why. I don't know how deep I have to go because, um, you know, once you get to a point where you're swimming, you're not gonna be able to see, like I, I'm swimming and I can't get my pickaxe up in order to be able to keep cutting the ground back down to make it so, you know, that they can't get out to my boat. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going on this, try to get as much of this down as I can so they can't walk along the side of this, you know, so they can't go up there and, and walk along the, the raised ground to maybe get to my base or something, you know? Yeah, it's just, I'm just going to get that, ah, yeah. Alright, yep. I'll just keep doing this. Get as much as I can. Cut down. And then hopefully that'll prevent anything from being able to get to our boat. Um, the best way to figure this out is obviously um, when we have raid events to see what happens. 
to see if uh, anything can get toward our boat and get it. It's also at night is a great time because I'll have uh, fullings come nearby and I have to go out and deal with them because I can't sleep with them. You know, I can't sleep with them being so close to my base or anything like that. Let's see, let's get this. Uh, I gotta raise that a little bit. I gotta get a little bit support there. A little bit more support. A little bit, a little bit. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit. That might help. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Get this stuff all as far down as I can. It's kind of a bummer because this was okay and then I raised the ground and then I changed my mind about the approach I was going to take to this and now I'm like out here tearing everything down that I built up. It's like, oh man, oh man, oh well, you know, that's kind of the way it's going to go. You have one idea and then you find like later it's like, no, I don't like that idea and I'm going to do something else. Let's get over here. I need to knock this down a little bit. Make it so at least that they can't get up that very easily. That's the important thing. Yeah, keep them from getting up here. Because they'll walk up there and they'll like destroy the stone cutter or they'll destroy the, the, the workbench. And that's so annoying, man. I mean, it's it's easy to replace because it doesn't you don't get any uh, we don't have uh, a cost for destroying or having our stuff destroyed it we can get it back but what I think I want to do is man I want to put this wall all the way around my base because I think I hope that it will help to keep foldings from um, you know totally uh, breaking down the front walls and everything. Actually, the, the gates are kind of exposed in the first place. Or the doors, should I say. I need to make steel gates so that they can't get... Um, if they do damage, they take a lot of damage, which means it gives me some time to get out there and deal with whatever is attacking the walls, you know? So it can't keep... Um, so it can't just keep going and destroy all my stuff. You know, break down the door and come inside before I'm even prepared for dealing with, you know, a bunch of foldings that are messing around outside. I'll keep going on this. Yeah, just gotta just break this down a little bit. And I think what we'll do is, when it gets, when we're really done with this and we're ready to test this, we'll just come out in the evening and we'll stay awake. And we'll wait for foldings to, you know, come over here and see if let's see how they can get into you know get into the boat that's what i want to see can they get to the boat can they cause trouble what exactly is the deal and yeah i think i'd like to build a wall Deus wall actually we should just replace this with an iron gate yeah that should be an iron gate looks like a falling came down to our fence or a wall, I mean, should I say, stone wall. And he's just standing there, kind of looking like he doesn't know what the heck in the world he's supposed to do next. Um, so it's it's in the evening, it's after hours, it's after dark, should I say. So we're definitely, anything that's going to come out at night that we have to worry about is coming out right now. This, I mean, this encourages me that, that that's all that happens. If this is all this guy does is just stare there at this stupid thing and nothing else, then I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to say that this wall does its, does its, performs its function. And I can't see anything over on the other side there that's going on. But it's possible that, you know, maybe later something will show up over there and we can see what they do with that side of the stone wall but for right now i'm just gonna say this looks like it is preventing anything from happening i'm very tempted to put a stone wall around the rest of my base and then use uh create the the metal door the iron door should i say as a way of getting you know off the off the 
off the compound, off the base property, and then out into, you know, the plains area where we're going to be doing things. Okay, look at that. Two guys standing there. Yeah, they don't know what the heck's going on there. They're not attacking it. They're not able to jump over it. They're not trying to circumvent it, go around it. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to go get some sleep. I think the first thing I want to see is what I can do in terms of raising the ground around my boat so I can uh, build, a, you know, a boat launch or something here. Kind of a dock, whatever. Let's see what we can do in terms of, of uh, getting the ground up. I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to go because the water is pretty deep. I mean, I could try... You know what? Let's just... Let's just try... I think I need to go get I need to go get some wood if I'm gonna do this. So the core wood pole, the log pole four millimeter, might go might be high enough and go far enough down into the the lake bed or the ocean bed, whatever you wanna call it, that we can actually build without raising the ground, which would be very nice. Let me see if I can let's see, I wanna do a four. Let's just get anything over here. Where exactly you want to go right here. Let's just start kind of right there. And build you right there. So we can get an idea of where we go. So, okay, maybe I got to go out a little bit more. Let me try going out a little bit more. And see if <laughs> trying trying to get these things sometimes, man, they're a huge pain and you know what. Trying to get this to attach down there. I have to get into the water. I don't think that that's gonna work. Give give me a moment, see what I can do here. I think I might be getting to understand how I can get this to work. As you do one section at a time, and then you should be able to um, put this together with as little issue as possible and kind of show you alright so we got that there and we can get rid of that and we can put this over here okay so we can get rid of that one and this I think what I can do, I might be wrong about this, is let's see, we go get a, get that over, try to get that to the edge of that, eh, oh my god, okay, we do that, and then that, and then I can do, oops, that's the wrong thing, oh, we really do need to get... No, we don't have anything there. Let me get rid of this. And I'll see if we can... There we go. That's in place. And... You're not gonna... Uh, man. What a huge hassle. Oh my lord. So I think we go like this, we'll do this, and then we can do that. That'll get us out there. And we go out here, and I think, there we go. Now we can get that done. And we just, I don't know, just keep going kind of like that. Until, you know, we get to the desired length of our dock. Yep. Do that. And then I can hopefully come from here. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh my lord. This is this can't be this annoying. There you go. I wonder if that's just how we do it. We just gotta be standing above it. Let me let me see if um no. Okay. 
maybe standing above it helps. Alright, and then go over here. Oh, we look down. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just take some time sometimes to figure stuff out. You know, what am I trying to do? How exactly do all these pieces lock together? It looks alright. It looks okay. Do we have... Yeah, we have everything over here. I wonder if I can get one more piece over here. Uh, oops, I don't want to be there. So... I wonder if you just go right here. Ah, whatever. It's not going to let me do that. Okay, so I'm going to keep on building this. I think... I think I figured out how to how to get this done. <laughs> I think that's just the worst words in the world, man. I think I figured out how to do something. Not quite sure. So I got this one side's going, and oops, no, yes, go the do the other side too. There, and then you go stand right. No, no. No. Come on. Don't do that to me. Ah. And then you. Oh, it works one minute and I'm not the next. Oh my lord. <laughs> I get it and then and then it oh there we go. And then all of a sudden it's like bam. Sorry, you got it, now you don't get it. That's just the way that works. Alright, I'm... This is... This is... Incredibly annoying, but I... It's incredibly slow going, but I know we're gonna get it. I know, eventually, this thing is going to... Uh, let me get it. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll bring you guys back. I've got the dock portion of the marina done. Or, yeah, done. And most of it, it just involves, uh, the water is a little too deep for some of the, for even these core wood. And in order to get the core wood to go into place, I have to uh, use the hole to raise the water level. So as, as I build, I am making that a little bigger. You know what, that's a little too tight. Let's go, I wonder what I want to do. I want to go there bam that's good bam did you just fall in the water it just fell in the water okay you go there grab that and then you grab that and then you grab that up oh, and there we go so that should be how that goes get rid of that okay that fell in the water <laughs> Whatever. Try. I'll try to get it later. Yeah, I can, I'm pretty sure I can get it later. So we're just gonna put these up right here. Um, yeah, let's just do them over here anyway. We just build this nice big kind of canopy above us, something you know to keep us from getting too wet. I don't know if I'm gonna build all the way over where the boat is to that. Um, I mean, the problem is, is it's going to have to be huge. It's going to have to be very high. And the problem with that is the base, I just think about that. Look how tall the base is and then take a look at this and tell me how high does that look like it's going to have to be. It's going to have to be as le at least as high as that is. So let me check. How much do I have in here? Oh, give me. I think I need some more. It gets rid of some of this wood. And then for the roof, I just set in the same kind of 26 degree angle roof with some support around it. Nothing special. And that's that's basically my marina. Not anything too developed, too big. I don't want it. I honestly don't want it to compete with the with the base that we built. So I think that'll be it for this video. I'm, I'm happy with it because one, we got the big stone wall that is going to protect us and is protecting us from enemies 
going in the water and trying to get to our boat. We saw the fallings the other night and they just stood there and they didn't go anywhere near. They didn't attack the wall or even try to get over it. And I, I mean, we'll have to see what happens if an event happens with, you know, the trolls come by. Do they attack the, the walls? What, what would they do when in this situation? So I'll just say that's it for this video. So you guys, if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You get alerts when I come out with new videos, which is every single day. And as always, comment. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, dudes.